Good morning. On behalf of our senior minister, the Reverend Dorothy J. Wilson, we and everybody at the Living Truth Center for Better Living, I am Frida Saleem. I would like to welcome you to the reading of our daily inspiration. Here at the Living Truth Center, we are a loving, kind, supportive, and praying New Thought Christian church family who believes in the innate divinity of all people. Our mission here at the Living Truth Center is to reach and empower people to live a happy, healthy, and prosperous life through our core ministries, teaching, preaching, praying, healing, and through fellowship and service. Our vision is to be an inclusive and intergenerational New Thought Christian Bible-based church that teaches the Jesus Christ principles of how to live a happy, healthy, and prosperous life. Today is Thursday, April 29th, 2021. And the daily inspiration can be found on page 85. And the title is, What Do You Know For Sure? What do you know for sure? After she was asked by a film critic what she knew for sure, Oprah Winfrey began writing a column titled, What I Know For Sure, in O Magazine. These gems were later published as a book. As spiritual beings with access to the Christ mind and the ability to commune with it and draw on it, what do you know for sure? Do you know for sure that despite all seeming evidence to the contrary, you have all you need to triumph. Do you know for sure that the truth of who you are is within you as the Christ and not in your possessions, education, economic status, age, gender, race, or even your nationality? Do you know for sure that even though things may seem to be falling apart in the physical realm, peace like a river can flow through you and comfort you when you remember that God is always with you? Do you know for sure that you are the light of the world? Do you know for sure that you are love? and that you are love? No. Well, get busy right away and know these truths for sure. Scripture reads Romans 8, 38 and 39 verses. For I am convinced that nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. Once again, I would like to thank you for joining us this morning. We encourage you to leave a comment and to please share this recording with someone else. As we conclude our time together, I would love to pray with you the prayer of protection. Let's become still. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us and the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And so it is. Amen and amen. Thank you and have a wonderful and blessed day. And remember, allow divine wisdom to guide you always. And so it is. Thank you.